Welcome back everybody. My name is Mr. White and we are outdoors. Our last lesson, I introduced a little bit of work with the rope. And I asked everybody to get a rope and hopefully you got one and we worked on some knots last day. I hope you have your rope with you. I'm going to go over our last day knots and I'm also going to show you some neat things to do with a new knot today. But our last knot that we practiced was called the overhand knot or a stopper knot. And I'm going to do some here really quickly. Um, if you find it difficult, just go back and check out the first video and then you'll be right up to snuff and you'll be able to keep up with us and you can come to the second video. So here's how the overhand or the stopper knot was made. We took our rope. This end was called our working end. Sometimes I call it the rabbit and it's just easier for me to remember the rabbit than the working end all of the time. So I take my rope, I take my rabbit, the rabbit jumped over the other part of the rope. So he comes back and jumps over. It's kind of like he's going over the log. So the log is laying down. He's jumped over the log. Up through the hole the rabbit comes. I grab the rabbit and I pull and there we have an overhand knot or a stopper knot. Let's do that one more time. The rabbit jumps over the log, comes up through the hole. I grab the rabbit and I give him a tug and there we go. There's our overhand knot. This is a yellow rope, and a lot of people have this rope. It's uh, very inexpensive, it doesn't cost you much when you go to the store, but it's not really fun to work with when you're doing knots. It's kind of hard, it doesn't feel very good, and sometimes these little things, they stick in you and they hurt, so they're kind of prickly. Now, if you notice, the end of my rope is kind of falling apart. It's fraying. And this rope continues to fray and fray and fray. That's why Mr. White doesn't use it very much. There is a trick that you already know on how to stop it from fraying. I wonder what we could do to stop it from fraying. Here is the yellow rope that I said is fraying. And there is a way of stopping that fray. If I simply do an overhand knot, bring my rabbit up through. And if I tighten that right there, that'll stop that fray. So that fray, if I cut that back off now, now that fray will stop when it hits the knot. So it's a very good stopper knot to stop the fray. Last night when I was home, I was kind of bored. So what I did was I took my, my rope and I put a stopper knot in one end, just like this. And you know how to do that. I also put a stopper knot in the other end, just like this. And do you know what I made? I actually made a skipping rope. So I can hold on to this stopper knot. It's easy to grip onto. I can hold on to this stopper. It's easy to grip. And now I have a skipping rope to practice my skipping stills. Today it was really nice out. So this morning I actually used my rope outside skipping. So when I'm finished, after I've done some skipping and I'm tired, I just take my stopper knots out. I take my overhand knot out. And there, I'm back to having a rope that I can use for other things. Now, I know that some of you have practiced doing the stopper knot with your eyes closed. And I know that some of you have even practiced making an overhand or a stopper knot behind your back like this. Like that. I'll show you a new knot today. Here's our new knot. It's not very complicated. It's a lot like our last knot, and I'm pretty sure that all of you will get it. So let's do this. Let's make sure that our rope has no knots in it. And instead of taking this working end, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up a little bit, and I'm going to let the working end kind of hang down. So the rope is kind of, the rabbit's kind of lazy today. He's just hanging over there. Now what I want to do is this is doubled. You notice that way down here, it's only one rope, but up here there are two ropes. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this and do the exact same overhand knot or the stopper knot that we did in the last video and earlier on this one. I want you to do your little loop. You're going to come up through the middle with that double part and pull that instead. So now, instead of making just a stopper knot, you've made a double stopper or you've made a double overhand knot. And now you have this very cool handle on the end of your rope. If you need to pull something, you can actually pull with a handle. Let's try that again. I'll do it nice and slow for you. Ready? So instead of doing your overhand knot in the end like that, and I 
know you can do that. I'm just going to take some extra rope and I'm going to make sure that there's two ropes here. It's really one rope that I kind of just lazed over. My rabbit is kind of just hanging there. He's maybe he's had a tiring day. So I take my rope, I make my loop. Now I've got the hole and I take this end, my working end again, and I pull up, up through and I pull. And there, look at that. I made myself a loop. I have an idea. If you're bored, and you're in your house and you have your rope and you want to get outside this is going to be a very neat thing for anybody who has a cat or a dog you can take your rope let's double over and let's make a loop with that doubled over section we're going to make our overhand knot or our double stopper i make my loop i pull it through and i have made a handle on that end let's try the same thing with this end I double it over, just like that. Now I push, I make my circle, and then I go up inside with the rabbit and I pull. Now I'll show you a close-up version of that too. So now look at what I actually have. I actually have a rope with two handles on the end. I can pull tug of war with my dad. Here's another thing I can do with that neat little thing. I have these very cool things, they're called carabiners. And this is a, a little piece of metal. I'll show you up close in a minute. There's a carabiner and I open this up and you can get these at the store. They're kind of neat. I take a carabiner and I put it on my rope. Now I clicked my carabiner right on my rope and guess what? Now I have a leash. I have a leash that I can hook onto my dog. So I could take this, I could clip it on my dog's collar and I could hold onto this handle and I could go outside today because it is beautiful and I can go for a walk and walk my dog with my homemade leash. I don't need to buy a leash from the store. I actually have one. And guess what? When I'm all finished, I take my carabiner back off and I untie my double overhand knots. I come up really, really quick. And now I'm back to having my rope. I could go skipping if I want. But this could actually be my skipping rope. It could actually be my dog leash. Cool, eh? Now I'm going to show you the new knot that we learned today. By taking it double and making that rabbit hang down, I can take this end and bring it around the same way that I did with my overhand knot. You see my loop is still the same and I make the rabbit come up through that hole and now I have a double overhand or a double stopper knot. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Instead of just doing it over and through, I'm going to fold it right there. I'm going to have my rope hang down a little bit like that. Now I'm going to bring this end around. Now I'm bringing two parts of my rope around and I make my loop. Then I bring this bended part, my rabbit, my working end up through and now I have a loop. Now watch what happens when I do it on the other side. I do a double here, fold it over, bring it around, bring my rabbit or my working end up through, and there. Now I have my two loops. And Mr. White deliberately made this one small and that one big because I want to show you something and that's the carabiner. This is a carabiner and I got it at, a, at the store. I think I got it at Walmart or something. Now I'm going to take that carabiner and I'm going to clip it on the small one just like that. So now there is my dog leash that we talked about. I can clip this on my dog right there around his collar and I can hold on to this end and I can take my dog for a walk. When I'm all done today, I think I'm going to take my dog. So I'm going to leave this just like this. I'm not going to take my knots out and I'm not going to take my carabiner off. I'm going to leave those two double knots and I'm going to leave that carabiner on there until after I take my dog for a walk. We have found the hill that we'd like to go down. We notice that it's a little bit slippery and a little bit snow covered and it might be a little bit dangerous. So 
We've taken the rope out of our bag. We have put lots and lots of stopper knots on it. Here's what I'm going to do. We have to figure out how to get this rope around this tree in order to hold us so we can go down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss this rope around the tree. And now I have the end of my rope. It's all the way wrapped around this very strong tree. I know it'll hold me. And the knot that you learned today, that double overhand knot, the double overhand goes like this. I let the rabbit hang down. I make my loop. The rabbit comes up. And now I have that little handle that I said was very good for pulling. Now I have the handle on the very end of my rope. And I'm gonna show you how this is gonna help me. I'm gonna take the other end of my rope this is the end that I'm going to be holding on down there. And I'm going to feed this through all the way through that loop. So I'm going through the loop with my whole rope. Now that I'm all the way through, let's see what happens. I've got a little bit of a loop there. I've got a loop there and it's the rest of my rope is going through the loop. So now, that is very solid. So it's the tree is actually holding my rope. I think I'm ready to go down. Are you ready to come with me? Isn't it nice down here today? I'm gonna to take a walk up because there's a couple of things I want you to see. There's something really cool if you look up ahead. If you look ahead, you'll see it. Do you see that in the water? I'm gonna see if I can't get closer to it. Boys and girls, I just came across a really neat thing. Look at that big chunk of black stuff up there hanging off the side of that tree. It's growing on the side. Look at it down here, there's another piece. I'll say, it's very icy, I don't have my rope with me. So I'm gonna see if I can get closer to it. I might have to slide, so hold on. It might get slippery here. Do you see this? This is a thing called chugga. It's called chugga. And some people actually make tea out of that. So what Mr. White's gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece off and I'm gonna take this home and I'll show you someday what we can do with chugga. I'll see if I can get it off. Oh. Whoa, that was pretty cool. Look at it. It's called chugga. It looks like it's burnt old tree. Look at another neat thing I found in the book. Look at that. It's an old fashioned truck. I don't know what it's doing here. I'm pretty sure it didn't come down by rope. Maybe it fell down the hill. That's a long way to fall. Anyway, you never know what you see at the brook. Boys and girls, here's a tree that's beside the tree that we use to climb down that hill. And look around the bottom of it, it's a mess. There's all kinds of little chips and shavings and little wood pieces here. All kinds of, looks like somebody chopped it up. And I look way up the tree, and I don't know if you can see that. Do you see all the little holes? There are little holes, look like they're drilled in a tree, but it's really, 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 it's way higher than I can reach. I can't even reach that high. I wonder if you know what that is. I'll tell you next day. Well, thanks for coming along again today. I'm Mr. White, and we're outdoors. I hope you had fun. Practice those overhand knots and the double overhands and your stop knots and your double stoppers. Practice your skipping ropes and make a, a leash for your dog. And don't forget, if you're gonna explore the brook, make sure mom or dad or Mr. White are around. We'll see you next time.